guys today let's learn bonus calculation and accounting this video is divided in five sections first we will understand meaning and history of bonus then we will see bonus provisions then we will go through few examples we will also check accounting of bonus and then we will see what are its tax implications bonus is the extra payment which is paid along with salary of the employee reason of bonus payment is to wow employee and motivate to work hard it bonus is normally paid during festivals such as diwali in india and christmas in some other parts of world however in india it's more or less compulsory to give bonus due to bonus act provisions let's see history of bonus in 1960 the government of india appointed bonus commission on recommendations of bonus commission later payment of bonus act 1965 was formed the bonus act applies to every factory in every establishment that employs 20 or more persons an apprentice is not eligible for bonus act is not applicable to certain employees of lic general insurance dockyards red cross universities educational institutions chambers of commerce social welfare institutions h for the first 5 accounting year following the accounting year in which the employer sells goods render services bonus is payable only in respect of the accounting year in which profit is made the bonus payable under this law is not linked to the performance of the employee All employees earning up to the wage threshold which is 21000 rupees right now and who have worked in the establishment for not less than 30 working days in the year are eligible to receive this statutory bonus 8.33% of the salary of 100 rupees whichever is higher is minimum bonus Salary or wages includes DNS allowance but no other allowances for example over time house rent incentive or commission Let's see one example if Mr A works for ABC Limited for 1 year in ABC Limited is loss making company for last 10 years Mr A receives 10000 basic and 5000 DRANS allowance and 14000 other allowance In this case bonus is payable on earned basic plus DA which 15000 at 8.33% and bonus payable is 1250 rupees If ABC limited is 4 years old no bonus payable as company is loss making and has not completed 5 years Now let's see another example Here Mr A has basic salary of 21000 rupees Since basic plus DA to get the exceed 21k, company has no obligation to pay bonus to Mr X. Remember, here we check monthly salary and not annual salary. Let's see if it you are temporary employees covered. Yes, they are covered. Are resigned employees eligible for bonus? Yes, they are for period they work. The When payment of bonus should be made. The payment of bonus for a financial year has to be made within 8 months of its completion. Thus payment should be made by the end of October of the last financial year. Bonus should be monthly accrued for which entry should be passed as bonus account debit to bonus payable account. When bonus is paid bonus provision should be debited and bank account should be credited. As per the Indian tax law Bonus received by an employee from an employer will be considered as part of salary and such amount will be taxable in the financial year on due or receipt basis whichever is earlier. Employee need not worry for bonus taxation as it is responsibility of employer to deduct taxes. Normally companies deduct taxes from bonus at the time of payment.